You have 30 seconds to finish telling your story. 大家还有三十秒钟可以来结束说完你的故事。Okay, wrap up your story. 好，来把你的故事结束一下哦。That was great. 很棒。Storytellers and listeners, thank your partner. 好，不管是编者还是讲者，互相感谢一下对方。Did you consider yourself a storyteller before you came into this workshop? 在没有进来进行活动之前，你觉得自己是个说故事的人吗 ？Do you now consider yourself a storyteller? 啊，进行活动完，是不是觉得自己是个说故事的人呢 ？That's some improvement. 啊，我们有进步。So I would like to thank you very much for doing this workshop. I hope that you gain some confidence about your abilities to tell stories that are relevant to other people. 好，那么现在呢，谢谢各位参加这这一阶段的活动，也希望各位有更多的信心，就是之后可以呢讲故事的时候跟对方是有关联性的。是还有十分钟吗 ？Did you say ten more minutes? Oh, great! We can have a full discussion. <laughs> because Ian's class was running over time as well. Okay, does anyone have any questions about what just happened? Universal theme complete sentence 叫做 Interpreted theme 但是逐步的逐步的练习之后他们在期末考的时候都有进步那我觉得这个活动给我很大的启发是可以用不同的方法去练习但是我要分享另外一个就是说说故事其实就是在分享重要的生命经验而解说真的不在于解说任何事物的
我想要知道说，如果对国中以下，就是十五岁以下的学生的话，有没有什么应该要注意，或是他们？因为我觉得我我我觉得我学生们可能人生经验没有很多，或者他们平常就是就是上学啊，然后补习班这样子而已。那这是第一个，然后第二个是，就是像这种故事结束之后，还需要如果例如说国中生需要再去引导一些什么事情嘛，就是就引就是引导他们去发想一些什么事情嘛。我因为我觉得他们可能需要比较具体的。具体的一个引导，或是他们可能希望知道一些答案什么的，而不是我只是，哎、欸，我这样讲我就有感觉这样，对，谢谢。Thank you. Yes, uh, this workshop could definitely be modified for. 我们的这个工作坊是可以去调整的。The Benefit of this workshop is very much in the debrief. So you can design a debrief for your learners that will help come to the conclusions that you want to give them. 那我们这个工作坊的优点就是最重要是在后面的 debrief， 我们讲的是这个解说的部分。那也就是说，你可以去设计。最后一个阶段，针对你特定的受众，去让他们在最后的我们做一个总结的时候，你想要达到的是什么样的一个目标 ？And don't underestimate the power of giving someone confidence to tell their own story. 千万不要低估了，我们要让这个说故事的人他有信心，他有能力可以说故事这件事情。This workshop can be very transformative in giving people confidence, and then they can channel that confidence through specific skills to tell powerful stories. So, this can be a transformative process, letting the telling of stories person can use these skills to tell powerful stories. Telling powerful stories. Are important no matter what kind of job you do or what continuing education you'll do. 那这种能够呃有效的说故事的强有力的说故事的能力是可以用在很多方面的，不管各位是从事什么样的工作，或是在这种持续教育上面是扮演什么样的角色，这个能力都很重要。So one idea is if you're trying to give them a、uh, focus for building their career. Is you can look at different leading mentors in the field that those students want to go into. 比方说呢，你现在可能要引导学生，对于他未来的职能规划上面在讨论的话，那你就可能可以提供他一些 mentors， 像导师一样的角色，他们希望未来往那个方向发展的这些角色。Whether it's math, physics, environmental education. 或者我们是在教数学、物理，或者是环境教育 ，journalism， 或新闻学 ，politics， 政治学 ，or the CEO of a company， 或者你是一家公司的 CEO。One thing that I have learned at Apple is that every leader at every level must be a powerful storyteller. 我在苹果 Apple 学到的就是，他们不管你在公司里面什么位阶的主管，所有的主管都必须要是非常会说故事。And even if you go into a field where your title is not specifically a leadership role, you are still the leader of your own life. 那就算在工作上您并不是一个领导的角色。主管的角色，但是我们对自己的人生仍然是一个领导的角色。And also, some teenagers can feel not heard in their lives. This workshop can be a very profound opportunity to give somebody the chance to feel heard and seen. 那么很多的青少年都觉得自己的声音没有被听到。所以我们利用这一次的这样的一个工作坊，可以让青少年感受到说他们的话有人在听
a young person who is trying to find their focus and direction of what they want to do, being heard and seen can actually help them discover what it is that they want to do. 还有年轻人在探索自己未来的方向的时候，也是一样的，很重要的一件事情，要让他感觉到他有被听见，他有被看见，这样可以让他们更容易的找到自己的方向。And I would be happy to collaborate with you on making a second workshop that would then create that pathway of focus and concrete specific skill set. 那我将很乐意来跟大家合作，我们再来办一个第二次的工作坊，然后来就是找到就是怎么样呢，在这样的技能方面让学员可以聚焦。Since we have probably another minute or two, I would like to ask the partners to share one more time with each other. So that was the bell from next door. 隔壁房间的铃声响了。um, so just take one minute to share with each other how it felt to have the story retold with your own themes that were important to you. Okay, I'm going to ask two people to share. Can one person tell me how it felt to be heard and understood by their partner? 我们请一位来分享说，你觉得受到这个伙伴来听你讲话，而且了解你，这是什么样的感受？可以跟我们分享吗？ Uh, with a partner 
实验。对，那呃，在我重新。<笑><笑> Sorry, sorry. Yes. Um. When I come back to tell my story and connect it to the three themes of the other story, I find that when I start to tell my story, I start to think about what is the most important thing in this story. I start to remove the more important details. But in the process of telling the story, I have some key words that I actually want to get out. But when 呃，佩佩在重新讲我的故事的时候，他却讲出那个关键字，其中一个就是 powerlessness， 无力感。对，那因为他其实跟我有一样的经验，所以当下我们就有一个连接，是他懂我曾经有的感受是什么。对，那他也讲出我一时无法言述的那种感觉，所以那种那种感觉是相当奇妙的。嗯。<laughs> Did anyone else have a different experience or a similar experience that they would like to share? That <laughs> 嗯，除了对别人讲出了其实某一方面，他也在重新的审视自己，重新的去解剖自己，重新的认识自己。那要把自己的东西挖出来给别人的时候，讲出口，嗯，就是如果没有打草稿，第一个时间讲出口的，其实，嗯，我后来才发现，原来那是自己最在意的。然后或许或许是我内心潜意识里面觉得那是重要的。然后我的伙伴他其实给了我很棒的回馈。然后他也他也会提出一些观点，是我以前没有发现说，哦，原来我也有这样子的想法，或是原来我也有这样子的个性存在。所以，嗯，重新的认识自己之后，别人也会给你一点回馈，来让你就是在建筑自己。谢谢。I would like to hear if anyone has any inspiration about how they might apply some of this to their work, to their work as environmental educators. Quite 我觉得今天我们这个策略其实是可以应用的，但是我们要多提醒我们，我们同质性如果太强的话，对，我们要有能力去想